Hello and welcome to Perspectives on the Voice of America. I'm Dimiake Mwakalielie. Admirers of Zambian President Levi Mwanawasa are praising him as the defender of democracy in Africa. Mr. Mwanawasa died Tuesday at the age of 59 at a hospital in Paris. Zambia is observing a seven-day mourning period to honor the late president. At the time of his death, Mr. Mwanawasa was receiving treatment for a stroke he suffered in Egypt in late June. In a written statement, U.S. officials praised Mr. Monawasa for speaking out against human rights abuses and threats to democracy in Africa. Zimbabwean opposition leader Morgan Changirai called Mr. Monawasa a champion of democracy for the continent. Many say the Zambian leader was a rare African critic of Zimbabwe's president Robert Mugabe. Botswana's former president, Festus Mohai, here in Washington this week, reacted to Mr. Monawasa's death. He was committed to the rule of law uh, and to democratic governance. And uh, he, he had a difficult task because he did what he thought was right. For instance, he pledged uh, on his election that he'd fight corruption. And it ended up uh, roping in his predecessor, who was his friend. And he had to do it. He said, well, the law is blind, uh, and therefore that was very, very important man of principle. Uh, he dies now when he and, and the president of Botswana were two of the Sadek presidents who have said that no, the situation in Zimbabwe is unacceptable. The people have suffered for too long and that the opposition had won uh, and therefore really, uh, at best, at best, the President Mugabe should yield to Mr. Twangarai because he won the elections. Joining us on the phone from Lusaka, Zambia, to discuss the legacy of President Mwanawasa is Ambassador Mwenya Lwatua, SC, an attorney and former classmate of Mr. Mwanawasa. Welcome to our show, Mr. Lwatula. Thank you. I'll uh, touch on what Mr. Mohai said in a few minutes, but first I want to get your take on the Mr. Monawasa that you knew personally, dating back to the 70s. Yes, I knew President uh, Levi Monawasa, State Council, from our days as students at the University of Zambia School of Law, uh, where, which we entered in 1970 and uh, completed our course in 1973. Thereafter, we also uh, attended uh, the postgraduate uh, course to prepare us to be admitted to the Zambian Bar as attorneys or advocates. Now, Mr. Monawasa pretty much took his law knowledge all the way to the presidency. As Mr. Mohai just pointed out, he was a lawyer, and he exercised that in the way he tackled the issue of corruption. What can you tell us about that? Well, throughout his student days and uh, up to uh, the time we practiced in private uh, practice and in government, uh, President Les Mwanawasa was, uh, has always been a brilliant and hard-working uh, lawyer. And uh, I totally agree with the assessment of President Mohai uh, regarding his, um, his principles and um, especially regarding the Zimbabwean issue. Uh, not only in Zimbabwe, but uh, he also attacked the xenophobic uh, attacks in South Africa, which uh, happened, I think, uh, months or three months ago. M uh, Mr. Watula, let me just get your thoughts on the reaction from Zambians of Mr. Monawasa's death. Obviously, it was quite unexpected to a lot, even though he had been known to be sick for a while. Well, the Zambian community, every Zambian is uh, in the morning and dead. And uh, as you say, we didn't expect President Mwanawasa to die now. 
we had thought he was going to come back. Especially when he had a lot of programs still unattended to and unfinished. Well, thank you so much, Ambassador Mwenya Luatula. That's all we have time for today. And that's all from us here at Perspectives. Until tomorrow, I'm Dimiake Mokalielia for The Voice of America.